Member request time. Swans. Love will save you. Again by Ferdinand. Great recommendation here. Um, let's get into this. It'll be a drop detuning for this special arrangement here. So there's kind of two guitars bouncing around here. Um, for the initial intro and verse, the first guitar is just kind of picking through this G minor shape. And since we're going to use the drop D here, we make it this way by doing the 5 on the low D, 5 on the middle D, and then we're going to want to hit this 3 on the G and the E. Because G minor, no, it's nothing crazy there. We're just going to pick through it as so, where we hit the bass note on the 5 D. Then we'll just pick through the middle D5, 3G, 3E. And then we'll just come back up with the 3E, 3G, 5 middle D. Okay, so just picking through it like here. And then we'll just repeat that E, G, D string again a couple times. So just once down through, and then three times back up. And also in that initial intro section, there's a second guitar that comes in, and it just does this high little alternate picking thing here, up at the 8 on the B, 10 on the high E. So just like that. And then it picks through it again, the 8 to 10. But after we hit that 10, we do a little hammer-on pull-off at the 10, 11, 10 on the E. Right, and then just once again with the 8B, 10E. Right, and later on, it just switches to the uh, kind of an octave thing. It just bounces between a 5 on the D with the open G. Once the chorus comes along, we get this kind of ostinato chord happening here where we're just going to be strumming this, the bass note will change, but it jumps up to this F5 shape, and it's kind of a unique shape here where we just want to hit, you know, the 5 with it, the power chord, but it's a funky inverted version. So I'll come up to 8 on the A for that F, and we want to keep the D and the G just muted, so you can either, you know, lightly hang your uh, ring finger over the D, and then maybe, like, your pointer finger just kind of touches that G just to keep it muted. Right. And with that pointer finger, we're going to hit the 6 on the B, and then pinky here, go 8 on the high E. Right. And if that's too difficult, then you can just you know do something like this, where you're only hitting that 8A and the 8 on the high E, keeping everything else muted. I think it sounds extra nice, though, if you can include that 6 on the B. And just strums through it just like that. 
like I said, that strums through and the bass note changes from, you know, the F to a C. Alright, so uh, as far as the chorus goes, just strumming that same chord. The second verse, we get a little bit of change of a dynamic here, where we're just strumming chords, really. And it switches to more like a G5 shape, and we can do that real nice here in the strap D by just hitting the 5 on the DAD, adding the 7G and the 8 on the B. And with this, you know, we're just doing a light kind of on the beat, kind of accent maybe every third one or so. And over that, the second guitar is just doing a little arpeggio through the G minor, uh, hitting the 3B, 3G, 5 on the D there. At the end of the second chorus, we get this cool little uh, descending riff, and I think the bass does it in the first chorus, but this time the guitar joins them. And it's this uh, descending octave riff here, and Works really nice in the drop D, where we can just be right up here at the 12s on the low D, middle D there. And the strumming of it is you kind of hit one, and then do one, two, three. All right, and that'll be the same strum for each position here. We go from there to the 10s, down to the 8s, come down to 5s, 3s, Bring it back up to eights and into the fives and end it with the fives twice. Now for the interlude section, um, as far as the actual recorded guitar goes, it's just kind of hanging out in this, you know, same kind of ostinato arpeggiated chord shape. Um, so we'll be in this. Uh, C basically, and a bit of an octave thing going on here too. So we're just gonna pick through, you know, like a 5G and then come up, you know, hit the high E, 5B. It's a little bit arbitrary here. It's, there's a lot of like reverb and echo going on, so it's just kind of a big wall of this chord. But uh, pretty sure it's like some arpeggiation happening here. And we're just gonna pick through it like that the G5, open E, 5B. Okay, just picking through it like that. And that just continues as far as the guitar goes. You know, there's other chord shapes that are happening, but it's kind of a piano and bass thing that's really dictating the progression here. Um, it switches from the C to F major 7, D7 suspended second to a C. And I'll show you that kind of what the piano is doing here. Okay, so if you want to get hardcore with it here for this interlude and outro section, you can just follow what the piano is doing. And it does this little melody and then into a chord shape. And uh, it's kind of the same little melody, really. Um, we can start in this position here because we want to be in this C chord spot. And we're going to pick 1B, 3, open E, and then just come back 3B to 1. And then we'll land on this C shape here, where it's not a normal C, really. Uh, more or less the same, but we're just adding this 3 on the high E now. And you just want to do like a 1, 2, 3 strum. Alright, and then it's going to switch to this F major 7 shape. And we're going to do that same little run up, the 1, 3, B, open E, 3, 1, B but we land on this different chord now, the F major 7. So uh, kind of like the C, but we just take those, you know, A and D and just drop it down a set so that we're, you know, 3D and 2 on the G. And keep that um, high open E. Uh, all right, and we're going to initially land on that 3 on the high E with that. Then it comes off to the open E for two strums. Okay, and we do that twice. And then here's where uh, I like this drop D tuning because we can get really big with this next shape. And this whole section gets really big, so you really want that kind of punch, you know? So uh, for this D7 suspended second, we'll do it like this where we just more of an arpeggiation now. Similar, same notes, but 
uh, we can arpeggiate through it here in this position, where we'll come up to the 5G, 3B, and then hit a open high E under it, back to the 3B, 5G. All right, and then we'll come off to this big D strum now, where we just hit the open D, A, D, and uh, staying in that same spot, we're gonna hit that 5G, 3B, and then add a 5E. Okay, sounds really cool. And then we'll just lift off of that 5E, and then just, so now we got that open high E there, and we just add that a couple strums. Okay, and we just go through that a couple times, and then just start all the way back at the C.